Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indicator. underway and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit better and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC oh nice land there with the punch you see he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach got the single collar tie yeah he's mixed it all up well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, nice jab. Efficient with that jab. Doubles up on it now. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, Guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown. Wow. Oh, there's the double leg takedown. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Let's go. Delver's back to the side control now. Just over three minutes to go now. The Korean Superboy gets back up, back into his comfort zone. And both guys really throwing with authority. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. That was a thud leg kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. All right, single collar tie now. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Nice punch by Choi. Well, missed on that one. All right, closes the distance, gets the single call. 
collar tie. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just misses with the left hook. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the... And potentially a critical takedown here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. This is a terrible position. Take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course Relax. next Recover. round. Got the better of you with the strike in that round. We're smarter than he is. He's going to come out and try to do the same thing. We're going to be prepared. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after the guns of blazes. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. That was a nice strike. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice hook there by Choi. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, his head kick looked like that one was blocked. Back to the clinch. Let's see what he does now. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Nice punch lands over the top. And now he lands a combination. <laughs> oh, that kick is good by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's gotten his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Hands up. Hands up. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Big punch land. Ooh. Back and forth we go. He loaded up that right there, too. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. And we got a fight on our hands. Oh, straight right. 
just misses with the straight right. And they separate. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner. Massive takedown of pit lane. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job there. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has from this position. An effective strike there by Shore. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Felders with the cardio you must have in order to secure this mini takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Both fighters get up now. Great punch, man. So much power. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Try to establish that jab. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Beautiful kick. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. All right, let's check out some of the action DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Straight punch. Choi gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Got clipped with the right hand. Able to work it into the takedown. All right, going for a single leg takedown here. That is usually his takedown attempt of choice and works out for him. Absolutely. He is comfortable. He is home when he's in on a single leg. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just missing on the uppercut there. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Punch is blocked. Nice leg kick. Oh, swept the leg beautifully to get the takedown, DC. Mr. Miyagi would be very, very proud of that sweep. Great job getting into your position and finding that beautiful takedown. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Single collar tie now. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attacks, young man. Take it to the ground. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Man, does Oh! 
Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. Again, efforting for the takedown here. And once again, able to get it. So the opponent just not able to put up much resistance thus far. He has not been able to figure out the entries. He has not been able to get ahead on the takedown defense. And that's why he's getting taken down over and over again. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Back to the feet now. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Double leg. Felder gets the takedown. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Right punches there. Felder ground and pound from half goal. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Punch over the top. Back and forth we go here! Felder's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Choi's overhand punch to the head looks good for a second, but ultimately that one gets blocked. Lands flush with that right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over to secure these takedowns. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he's sort of hanging out here, unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, that is the end of the round, and the cut on his lip has gotten really, really bad. And at this point, you at least have to ask the question as to whether or not it's affecting his breathing. I think if this cut gets any worse, the doctor's going to have no choice but to step in, protect the fighter, and stop the fight. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You gotta think at some point the opposition is gonna lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponents will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Oh, beautiful jab placement there by the longer flight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you got the Anderson Silva situation. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out! Elbow now blocked by Felder. Effective punch there by Choi.
next punch lands. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, you talk about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Nice hammer fist. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Back to his feet. Whoa! What a fan. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near-perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 48 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean.